Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and today I'm going to be showing you a really fun quick sewing project. So what these are are their little reusable paper towels. So I like to use them either just as paper towels exactly that when I'm like cooking or eating or you can also use them as little cleaning rags. I think they work really well as that as well. So the different things I'm going to be showing you in this video is first the dimensions to cut your fabric and then I'm going to show you each of the sewing steps along the way. So what you need, it's really simple for this project. I used a template because everything you cut for this project is going to be the exact same size. So I have a piece of cardboard here that's 8 inches by 12 inches. And I'll leave the metric conversions down below in the description box. And basically what you need to do is you just need to cut two pieces of fabric to make each one of these little towels. So first you need the front fabric, which is gonna be the design fabric. So there's lots of different designs you can choose. It's really anything. You just want some cotton fabric to use for the front. So I'll tell you a little bit about the ones I chose. And again, you're gonna to wanna to cut one piece that's eight inches by 12 inches. And then for the back, you're gonna want a piece of terry cloth. So this one I've already surged around the sides, which I'll show you in this video. And you're gonna to wanna to cut the piece of terry cloth to be the exact same size, so eight inches by 12 inches. And then we're just gonna seam these two pieces together to create the really fun design. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the different fabric and color choices that I picked, because I feel like that's part of the funnest, or really the most fun part of this project, is picking out the front fabric. So I'm going to start over here with this pile. I've made a lot of these just because I think they're really fun and cute and I also think they're going to make a great gift around Christmas time. So starting off here, ignore all the fuzz on it, but this is just some yellow fabric and it has little white boxes in it, just a fun little geometric print. And I actually got this one from the Joann's clearance section, I think it was like $2 a yard or something like that, but I felt like it would be great for these. And these I'm just going to use as probably cleaning towels or something like that. Because the nice thing about using the light color is I can probably bleach this whole towel and it'll be just fine. So here's just how I did this. Um, so when I used the yellow and white fabric on the front, I just chose a white terry cloth for the back of the fabric. And this white terry cloth I also got from Joann's. Now for some of these other ones, let me show you a finished one. So this one, for example, this kale fabric, I love this one. These vegetable prints, were actually what made me want to start making these reusable paper towels. So these vegetable prints, I have the kale, parsley, these look like radishes, and then I have carrots and some more in the other room. Um, but these are all by Martha Nagley, is the fabric designer who made all these, and I think it's Free Spirit Fabrics. I got all these at my local quilting shop. If I can find them somewhere on the internet, I'll link them down below. But to coordinate with these, I didn't want to use the same white terry cloth because I kind of wanted it to match a little bit more. So I went online and I ordered this green terry cloth fabric from Amazon. So I'll link that down below as well. I found that there are a lot more color options available if you go online rather than Joann's. My Joann's really only had the white color. And then this is the fabric I'm going to be using next. So this is some fun like retro kitchen fabric. I'm just still waiting for my red terry cloth to come in the mail so I can sew some up with these because I think that'll look really cute. And this fabric is, so this fabric is by Michael Miller and it's called 50s Kitchen if you're looking for this one online. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to wash all your fabric. So I wash my terry cloth and I wash my cotton for the front and then I just iron it all is the first thing I do. And then I go ahead and I cut out all my pieces using my template. So again, eight inches by 12 inches, and then I'll show you the sewing as the next part. So let's get started. So first, just to start off, I'm gonna go around all four edges of just the terry cloth layer, and I'm just gonna sew a zigzag stitch right along the edge, and that'll just help to prevent fraying later on, because these are gonna be washed quite a few times, right, and used pretty rigorously. So I just wanna secure them in place as much as I can. And the yarn color, or sorry, <laughs> the thread color you use for the zigzag stitch, it doesn't matter at all. You can use whatever color because this will just end up on the inside. So there's my zigzag stitch. Another option if you do have a serger 
is what I like to do is just go along each one of the edges and basically just cut off and serge the minimum that I can along each one of the edges. And that'll help prevent fraying as it begins to wash and wear over time and just make them a little bit more sturdy. And with the serging, it doesn't um, matter what color thread you use because this is all just gonna be on the inside of the towel. So there's one edge and now I just continue around the other three. So that's how much I cut off from all four sides. So I basically try and get barely nothing along each one of the edges. And that's what it looks like when it's all finished. So next up, you're gonna to wanna to find on your sewing machine where your half inch seam allowance is. So I'm just gonna measure from the center of the knitting needle over and find the correct line. So I found mine. So that's gonna be where I wanna line up the fabric to. And now I'm gonna take my main fabric. So this one's hard to see, but this is actually the good side of the fabric and then this is the back side. So I'm gonna line it up with my towel fabric, right sides together. Just gonna put a couple pins in to hold it in place. So now I have it right sides together, all lined up, and I just put in a couple pins to hold it in place. So now I'm gonna go around and basically I wanna start just over to the side of the center on one of the shorter edges. So over to the corner, turn, seam all the way down the long side, turn, seam all the way across the shorter side, turn all the way up the longer side again, turn, and then you only wanna go over maybe about an inch and a half on that side as well. That way we have an open gap at the top where we can reverse this one. And I do like to reverse and lock in my stitches. Another thing to note too, is you wanna make sure your sewing machine isn't still on zigzag stitch, cause that'll take up a little bit more than you want it to. So you just wanna straight stitch. So I just seamed all the way around, leaving the gap. Now I'm gonna take out my pins. And if there's anywhere your fabric got a little misaligned, like mine did right there in that corner, I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit just to remove some of that bulkiness. And I also like to just trim down the corners just a bit. You don't want to cut in too far at all though because of the fraying that happens with that toweling fabric. Okay, now I'm gonna reverse it. And I go around to each one of the corners and just poke it out. So now what I want to do is I want to seam all the way along the outer edge, just about a quarter inch from the outside edge. And what this will do is it'll hold the back and front together again and create a nice clean edge. And the main thing it's gonna do is it's gonna close up this hole at the bottom. So just to make sure it stays nice and straight, I'm gonna add a couple pins there again. So now as I'm sewing around the outside edge with that quarter inch seam, there's a couple things I wanna mention. So the first thing is that you wanna make sure you have your thread color in that you want showing on the outside of your work. The next thing is just a tip, and that's that I like to start in the middle of the fabric and sew towards the outside. And that's mainly because of my sewing machine. So my sewing machine has a lot of trouble turning that right hand turn at these corners. So what I like to do, and I've started doing it here, is I'll start in the center, then sew to the outside, do a little reverse to lock in the stitch, and then just stop sewing there. So I have about a quarter inch left. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my work and start sewing in the opposite direction down the other half of the seam. Now if your machine can handle those corners, then go for it, sew right around that edge with that quarter inch seam all the way around. My, ma my machine just struggles a little bit, so that's why I do this method, which takes a little bit longer, but it gives the same effect. So 
this is what it looks like so far. And now this last step is really up to you. So this last step, all that we're gonna do is just sew some seams across the top. And this is just gonna prevent the front and back from separating when it goes in the wash and things like that, right? You want it to stay pretty flat. So the fabric I tend to choose does usually have some sort of geometric print. So this one has some nice lines that I'm probably just gonna follow and do something like that. But as always, you can be as creative as you wanna be with your different fabric choice about what kind of lines you wanna sew on top. Or maybe you're making a set of a couple of different ones of these and you wanna sew a different pattern on each one. That'd be really cool as well. But for this one, I'm just gonna follow the general box print that's on here and um, just do that design. So this is what my towel looks like all finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.